hi everyone as promised i told you guys i'm going to be sharing my daily moon messages with you all i have started following the daily moon because as an entrepreneur you know uh i work from home i homeschool my kids you know all of that so being home on a regular basis um learning to work with the moon has helped me to manage my schedule better understanding that the cycles of the moon may affect uh my mood the things i'm able to get done how i feel for the day and just all of that in general has helped me extremely and that along with the fact of looking at the astrological moon calendar and seeing what sign the moon is in has especially helped me to plan my days accordingly because i kind of get a feel for what the days are going to be like today is the pisces moon day pisces moon days are definitely one of my favorite moon days why because the pisces energy is so dreamy and nostalgic and it's just a really cool day like it's a day that you can get things done but everything isn't moving too fast everything's not moving too slow so you don't have to you're not really feeling in the slump or feeling lazy it's kind of just somewhere in the middle intermediate and it just like for me it feels like a well-balanced day and i'm a leaper so i love my balance <laughs> right okay so uh following western astrology is what i usually talk to y'all about so with that being said, the moon phases, the moon cycle usually ends in Pisces and renews in Aries. That's why Pisces rules the 12th house and then Aries is the first house because it ends and begins like that. Um, And on Pisces moon days, it's usually a day like where one hour melts into the next. Um, It's a good day to read, to write, to meditate, to do anything that makes you feel uh closer to self anything that helps to feed your soul literally is something great that you should do on a pisces moon days because pisces moon days are extremely soulful days um how can i explain this like it's also days that you might be likely to meet a soulmate reunite with a soulmate you might reconnect with your lover or y'all might be able to have a good day today like that's kind of just the energy of a pisces moon day something for you to look out for on pisces moon days are like addictions feelings of feelings of like you're not worthy you know self-pity feeling unbalanced and just things along those lines because the reason why you should look out for addictions is because Pisces is the dreamy escapism type sign. And when we're talking about escapism, that is where a lot of addictions usually stem from. It's trying to escape from something. And that's why you should look out for those things on Pisces moon days. Uh, but hopefully, you know, the moon doesn't take you there. You are in complete and total control of your emotions. And that is actually one of my affirmations <laughs> for the Pisces moon day. One affirmation that you could say is I am in complete and total control of my emotions. That is one of my affirmations. And the other of my affirmations is that my life is well balanced. And of course, we all know affirmations are... Uh, sayings and words that you can say throughout the day because remember it's the law of the attraction if you speak it you may be it you are it so um again i am in total control of my emotions and i am well balanced Oop. also one more thing about the pisces moon days is that it is a great day to um to get in tune with your higher self so self-mastery trying meditation um doing whatever it is that you do to get in touch with your um with your with your subconscious mind or your higher self reaching an altered state through uh these practices would be extremely extremely beneficial on pisces moon days so don't forget to meditate um, and elevate <laughs> yourself and if all else fails chill out and have a nice cup of tea just like me
All right, and that is it for the Pisces Moon Days. Thank you for tuning in.